We have reports that the Toronto Maple Leafs may be active in the goalie market this upcoming trade deadline. We'll break all this down for you coming up on this holiday edition of Hattrick HQ. But before we get into it, just want to say that 82.2% of you guys watching this aren't subscribed. So if you look for a place for daily NHL, daily Leafs content, look no further. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, become part of the community here because we'll be here all season long. Keep me up to date on what's happening around the league. But with that said, let's get right into the main topic of the video today, which is the re report reveals that the Leafs will be active in the goalie market. And as we take a look uh, from Elliot Friedman, uh, he says uh, that the Leafs uh, may be seeking goal goaltending assist assistance coming up uh, in this trade deadline. And he says recognizing the need for improvement between the pipes, uh, GM Brad Treliving has initiated efforts to explore potential options. However, as Friedman highlighted in the Saturday headlines, the goaltending, uh, the goaltending market poses challenges with teams p possessing surplus goaltenders demanding high prices and he also go on to say here uh, this predicament forces the lease into a delicate situation where the cost of securing a goaltender might be uncomfortable uncomfortably high uh, he also speculates that toronto has indicated discussions in the goaltending market but any any significant developments may not transpire immediately until after the freeze which is after the holiday break with the team possibly banking on the hope that Ilya samsonov currently in a brief hiatus can return rejuvenated after a few days and he also goes on to say here the issue for Toronto is that their problems all popped up at the same time Samson uh, feels uh, fell apart mentally Wool got injured and the Leafs are trying to avoid calling up uh, the the Hilda Beast Dennis Hilda be too quickly and, and Mark obviously uh, this is a topic we've discussed a lot on the channel uh you know the Leafs goaltending woes since wool has been out but it's nice to see that they're actively looking to try to find a goaltender to bring in uh you know that's kind of cheap that that they can play out for the rest of the season in the backup role yeah so the first thing you were talking kind of talking about hill to be the big thing with him is this is his first time just playing in north american ice he's playing in the ahl and he looks like standing down there and i wouldn't want to rush him into a situation where he gets too many reps in the nhl falters a bit and can't really find his game so i do like the thought of just leaving him in the ahl letting him develop and maybe next year or the year after he comes up as a backup for joseph wall Talking about Wool, I know he was outstanding before he went down with an injury. So the team is really banking on him to continue that play when he returns. I know Jones has been okay in his recent play. And Samsonov has kind of fell apart, which is not great. It is a good thing that we only have him for one year. I know going into the season, a lot of fans wanted a multi-year deal. But it is good that we have him on a one-year deal just in case he continues the struggles. We can part ways with him in the uh, offseason. But right now, just running Samsonov and Jones hasn't looked amazing. And if Wall comes back and he isn't playing at the level he was, then you get in the tricky situation of what do you do if you need to fall back on Samsonov or Jones as a number one option just say if Wall struggles or goes down again. Yeah, and the one thing the Leafs organization have on their side here is they know what to do when developing goaltenders. We've seen it with Joseph Wool. They didn't call him up too early, and now he's one of the best goaltenders in the NHL when he's at his best. Unfortunately, he's injured right now, and like we see, uh, Samsonov obviously ha has been falling apart a little bit, and like Elliot Freeman says here, I really do have full faith in this guy that he can come back and start playing like he once was. I really hope that we do see this, but I mean, if you're GM Brad living at this moment of time you really got to try to look for a short-term solution uh you know to get the team back on track yeah because the big thing is when you kind of look at the playoffs like the Leafs are going to make the playoffs they're going to drag themselves through if they have to but the big problem is we've seen last year Sam Sonov went down Joseph Wall stepped in and he was fantastic in the playoffs but if you go into the playoffs, just say you win round one and you go into the second round against a team like Florida again, Wall goes down, Samsonov's still playing at his lower rate he is now. You can't really rely on Martin Jones to win you seven games. Not saying it's not possible. We've seen Barbowski lead Florida to the finals last year after having a terrible start. But it's kind of worrying to go into the situation having a goalie that's not playing up to his expectations. And if Wall goes down, like I said, then you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot and it's flipping a coin if Jones or Sammy can even step in and hold their own for seven games. Yeah, and like Ellie Freeman said here, there is a lot of goal goalies uh, available coming up at trade deadline. We're going to get into a few here now that are on TSN's uh, top 20 for the upcoming trade deadline. And the first goaltender we're going to get into here now is... 
Jake Allen from the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, as we take a look here, obviously Jake Allen, a league vet, uh, you know, a great solid goaltender. This year he has a 904 save percentage uh, with a 4-6 and 2 record. And obviously, Mark, Jake Allen uh, has been a solid goaltender here uh, in the NHL for a very long time. He was a solid backup for years, and he's proven that he can be a starter at times during in Montreal. Really do think that if you can get him for the right price here, I really do think that this would be a great option for the Leafs. Yeah, when you look at Jake Allen, through his career, it was always a weird situation. In St. Louis, he would get the number one option, and he would falter a bit. Then when you kind of went to split tandem with him and Brian Elliott, he looked outstanding. He went to Montreal, same thing. As a tandem, he looks great. But when you force him into a starting role, he gets a little shaky. I think this is a guy, I mean, we've seen it as Leafs fans, just kind of him stealing games from the Leafs with Montreal. So he is a solid option, but the two years on his contract is the only thing that worries me a bit about him. Yeah, definitely. We should look at his contract here now. Uh, he is currently on a, a $4 million contract, and then he would be signed through next season at $3.3 uh, million. I think this is a solid contract for a guy like this. We've seen him, like you've said, this year be great in Montreal, steal a few games. I believe he ranks top five in steal percentage, uh, you know, winning games when they shouldn't be winning, and he's just having a great year. They're kind of rocking a three-goalie tandem here in Montreal, right? right now so they need to get rid of one of these guys and I really do think Jake Allen will be at the top of Ken Hughes list to try to move and I really do think Toronto could be active on him see the only problem with that if you're paying him four million dollars next year to be a backup this is where the Leafs have to assign a guy like Nylander you saw it for Tuzzi uh, Domi there's so many guys going to free agency that you don't want to be locked up with four million as a backup I mean if you can get him a half retained I think two million would be perfect for him but then you kind of got to look at the situation does Montreal and Ken Hughes want to help Toronto out and if so it's going to be a severe overpayment in my opinion yeah and like we've talked about here before we rarely see trades between Toronto and Montreal but like you said here if they can if True Living can pull something off here with getting some retained salary going back the other way in Montreal. I really do think we could see this trade go through. But we're going to get into another guy here, and that is James Reimer. I know a lot of Leafs fans remember this guy, Optimus Rhyme. And as we take a look here, he is another league vet at 35 years of age, right now residing in Detroit with the Red Wings. Uh, so far this season, he has an 8.97 save percentage uh, with three wins, five losses, and two ties. And obviously, this guy has been a solid goaltender throughout his career in the NHL as well and as we took a look at his contract at a very affordable price at 1.5 million really do think this could be a really great option for the Toronto Maple Leafs yeah so James Reimer I hate to say it I love him as a goalie his time in Toronto was fun but every time I think of him I think of Bergeron scoring the overtime winner him lying flat out nice so it does bring back kind of dark memories but overall, I think Reimer would come in as a perfect third option. I know we have Jones, so that's where it gets a little tricky. Do you want to run Jones over Reimer? Would you trust Reimer more than Samsonov? So it kind of gets weird. If you do ship out Samsonov and you're comfortable with a guy like Martin Jones being the clear backup, then you could bring in a guy like Reimer as that third option in case of injuries or if you need to just kind of split time up as much as you can. The only problem with Detroit right now, Huso's down, there's a couple of goalie injuries within the organization. So I don't think they're going to be too actively trying to get rid of Reimer at this very moment. I think deadline, he's definitely going to be shift off, but it depends on what he's going to be worth at deadline if he, they're looking for a second i stay away this seems like you know a fifth sixth round pick maybe a tiny bit of retention on him yeah i really do think like with any of these trades i do think that sam Snaff would be in, in involved in some way at least in the discussions and i really do think that like you said they're dealing with a few injuries right now maybe they take a, a chance on sam Snaff, give him a you know a new home see if he can get back uh, to playing the way he was uh you know before this little stint but uh, i really do think that he could be a solid option at $1.5 million, I do think he's, you know, the, the most affordable option you're going to get for a backup in this situation. And like you said, you know, Toronto does have a lot of gold goalies right now in Martin Jones and Sam Snuff and Wool out, out on injury and even Murray on the IR. I don't think we'll ever see him play again, unfortunately. But, uh, I mean, you know, you got to kind of take a risk here and maybe taking a risk on Reimer could be something we see. Uh, but we're going to get into our next goalie here, which I think is the best best option here, and that is Kirill Vimelka from the Arizona Coyotes and as we take a look here at 27 years of age it's his third year in the NHL right now and so 
far this season, he's posting a 906 save percentage with five wins, seven losses, uh, and two uh, games going to overtime. And as you take a look at his contract here, uh, he's another kind of a uh, little bit of a more of affordable uh guy you know at 27 years of age you're still getting some development in a goaltender there uh, he, uh right now he's making 3.15 million and then next season he would be making 2.775 million and mark i mean this guy is a great goaltender i mean he's kind of being shadowed by connor ingram there in arizona uh, in arizona in arizona right now but I, I really do think that giving him a new home here in toronto could really you know skyrocket his potential yeah, so this guy, I know a lot of Leafs fans probably don't know this name. It's not a household name. We do see him play against Toronto. When he, if he played 82 games against the Leafs, I think he's a Vesna candidate. He looks incredible every time he plays in Toronto. But overall, I think this is the best option. Like you said, Connor Ingram's kind of taking that spotlight in Arizona as much as the spotlight can get there. But this could be the situation where Arizona might say, hey, offer us a draft pick, Samsonov, take Vimelka back. If he looks good in uh, Arizona, they could ship Samsonov off. This could be maybe you retain half and flip him to the Oilers or something. There's so much wiggle room. I know they're looking for more picks, prospects, whatever they can get to build for the future with their top prospect, Logan Cooley, as they say. But I think he would come in. He would be a perfect tandem with a guy like uh, Joseph Wall. You can run Vimelka, Wall, and still have a guy like Martin Jones as a very good third string goalie. This is a guy that had so many starts with the Arizona Coyotes. He gets He's a workhorse in that matter. He can play so many games in a row. And in my opinion, this is the guy, if the Leafs do want to go in and they're not comfortable with what they have, they have to go after him. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you. I really do think out of all these guys we've talked about today and all the guys that are available, I do think he is the best option. He's a really strong goaltender. At only 27 years of age, you're getting a little bit of a younger guy here. A guy in goaltending where, you know, around the 25 to 29 years is their prime. Uh, I really do think that you're getting a great goaltender here. A guy who could back up Wool when he comes back and you know he's going to go in and, and give his all to get a win in Toronto. And like you said, he plays really well well in Toronto so why not make that his home team and <laughs> be just be great to see I really do think that giving this guy a new home giving him a new opportunity could really revamp this guy's career and I really do think that he could play very well here in Toronto and I really hope we do see this like you said you know you'd have to ship Sam Snuff and a pick off to get this guy but I really do you think you could take the risk on this guy and I think it would work out in the favor of Toronto but we want to hear from you guys down in the comment section let us know what do you think all these guys we talked about today what goalie do you want to see in toronto let us know down below but we're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here and that is comment of the day and the comment of the day today goes to mike he says merry christmas lads thanks uh for your thoughtful analysis uh you do regularly go hatrick hq shout out to you mike we see it down in the comment section all the time uh we appreciate your support and merry christmas and happy holidays to everybody watching this video as you can see me and mark are repping the santa hats today uh, we, we had to hop on and get a video out to you guys uh, you know you're, you're becoming a part of our family too i guess we're always chatting with you guys down in the comment section i really hope you guys had a great holidays and if you enjoyed this video make sure to go down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button we're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers so we really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the nhl make sure to check this video that's popping up on your screen right now but as always i've been your host casey alongside my co-host co mark pie keep your stick on the ice